I was at a birthday party when I was six years old, um, and uh, the birthday boy um, was running away from uh, kids who wanted to put him through the spanking machine, which is where they would spank him. And he threw a rock. He took, picked up the rock and threw it, and it soared, you know, over everyone and hit me right here. And um, I fell back, and I was bleeding. And an adult took me over to the birthday cake table and put me down and moved the birthday cake so it wouldn't get bloody. So, um, so that was one thing I remember from that incident. I mean, it was just like this kind of awful moment. You know, I went to this birthday party thinking it was just a nice party, and then it ended up being this, you know, <laughs> head injury. And so then I thought, how do you put um, control over the chaos? A narrative is a way of putting control over the chaos of life. And so the, the thought they had to move the birthday cake so it wouldn't get bloody was a way of trying to control that experience. Okay, my name is Karen Bender. I have, I'm a fiction writer, and uh, my, my latest book is Refund, a collection of stories. I'm also the author of A Town of Empty Rooms, a novel, and um, uh, Like Normal People, also a novel. You know, I think my theory about fiction is that in fiction, we need to express everything. We need to be able to express everything that we feel without censoring it. Um, and we need to be able to play with it and push it. Um, in real life, I think our duty is to try and be good to one another. Um, in fiction, I think the healing process of, uh, the process of reader, the relationship between reader and writer is about you know, trying to you know, connect through honesty. And I think honest writing may be dark, you know, it may not be, you know, kind of the niceness that we're presenting to each other in regular life. It's about all the different feelings that you have. Um, and I have a, and I think the process of writing is one that I come to in trying to express, you know, all the darkness, you know, not the sort of easy feelings that, that you have, but really complex ones. I mean, I think with all of those, I think we all live in our, you know, our lives, you know, with our sort of, you know, ordinary experiences of making dinner and, you know, you know, having a family or, you know, whatever our experience is, and that these big experiences of violence and, you know, sort of horror are basically around us all the time. I mean, you know, the, the, that was the sort of shock of September 11th, you know, that, that things seemed normal, you know, around New York or, you know, lower Manhattan, and then suddenly it was, you know, basically looked like a war zone, you know. And then you had, um, you know, the shootings I feel like are just something that's just becoming part of the American psyche now, is that, you know, that we hear about so many of them and they're so epidemic. You know, we, I think we just think of it, you know, as something that could happen at any moment. So I think that's how those came into the, the story is that it actually is sort of the extraordinary, really becomes interwoven with the ordinary. I think as a writer, you want to always get yourself in a situation where you're trying to wake up. You know, you're trying to wake up and see something new in what's around us, because it's easy being in, in regular life to kind of shut down and just assume everything is the way it is, but you need to see it, try and see it in a new way, in a fresh way. In Taiwan in particular, we could see American culture you know, from abroad in a, in a new light. You know, all the shootings, you know, look, looking, you know, from Taiwan where there are no guns, you know, I mean, it's very safe. And then you'd see all these shootings in the U.S. and it was like, what is the U.S. at war with? You know, it just looked like a war was going on. Um, you know, just the whole thing of the huge houses, you know, just coming back, all the houses look so big, you know, and then the neighborhoods look so sort of spread out. And I just think there, um, there was a lot that I saw more clearly from abroad. And I think that's the challenge as a writer all the time, is how do you see what's in front of you in a new way? Um, I mean, I think fiction is about telling stories. Um, psychoanalysis, I think, is also about telling stories. It's about interpreting stories and dreams and making connections with metaphors. And I think um, that's one of my attractions to it. It's, it's about emotion and finding emotion underneath you know, stories that may not seem to be what they're actually about. Um, so I think that was my connection to psychoanalysis. I also think, um, you know, but I think my true religion is probably, is literature. You know, that actually I, I really believe in the reader-writer bond and how you connect with someone through honesty. <laughs>